Howdy, 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 my darling Capricorn. How are you doing today, my friend? So we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for June 2023. But it is important for you to hear this right now, Capricorn, and understanding that I understand not every Capricorn cares about the same thing. So when it comes to my general tarot readings for you, Capricorn, I like to cover the messages of how you were translated for your social life, platonic, romantic, business related, and then just in your everyday physical life, whether it's your career, finances, or just stuff that's going on in your everyday uh, Capricorn. All right. And so... Uh, trust and believe i got you gall <laughs> all right so starting out for your first card here is the fool energy here capricorn girl you better focus your camera i spent way too much on you for there we go that fool energy capricorn so i like this for you here this is a sense of a clean slate is presenting itself for you in a social way i'm gonna see it in two ways i am gonna be transparent capricorn in a social dynamic here i see this more so as a sense of like having the opportunity to have like a new connection coming in and when spirit is making a point to have uh to talk about like a new energy coming in it's you know we have we talk to and interact with new folks in our lives like all the time like that's nothing new but when spirit finds it important enough capricorn to bring it out in a tarot reading it's letting you know that there's if an opportunity in your vicinity right now i feel excuse me to uh start a new relationship starting that new friendship what have you all right i also get as like a message for some of you guys a little bit here but i feel like it's only like maybe like five percent of you capricorn of a sense of being able to start having a clean slate starting clean with a relationship in your life maybe there's some fighting going on or something in that manner there someone that you obviously still care about um i feel as if you're going to be having the opportunity capricorn of having that clean slate with them and be able to just start fresh from here rather than carrying that old baggage right so forgiveness and all that good stuff all right um and more so career uh situation here for you capricorn i do just feel overall this sense of an opportunity for you to start delving more energy into something new all right so what does this look like this could potentially be capricorn a new job this could be a new side hustle this could be um maybe a new video game some of you guys are going to be able to invest into there's something that's just overall new that you haven't dipped your toes into before capricorn it's about to be presenting itself in your life and you're going to be able to have the opportunity to take what you want from it maybe you want to maybe you want to engage in something new maybe you don't that's okay either way all right so let's get some more detail here capricorn all right so this is your energy here queen of pentacles i like this for you uh capricorn girl focus hello <laughs> <laughs> so queen of pentacles here whatever the case is you especially when it comes to your physical life this is more um, a very specific message capricorn so take this as you will but i do get this message of where it's like being less having less shame attached to what it is that you want maybe you want more money maybe you want fame maybe like whatever it is that you're wanting it's completely valid maybe you're just wanting a distraction it's completely valid and people make the mistake sometimes capricorn when it comes to trying to manifest something into their life they don't overcome like the sense of shame that they uh, end up developing because they're like oh i don't want to be greedy whatever whatever as an example capricorn all right i have no problem saying it's like girl i want to have more eyes on me all right not because of some vapid reason being like oh i just want to be popular i want to be famous whatever whatever but i want what it comes with right i want the success because i know what i'm going to be able to do with that success because i want my own charity for mental health you know i have a vision for what it is that i want and so i have no shame when i do my rituals when i do my manifestations when i do my vision board i don't have any sense of sense a sense of where i need to explain myself or having to be like where i cringe or i'm shy about what it is that i want because i know uh what i'm going to be doing with the things that i desire and i know it's bigger than uh bigger than me and bigger than what it initially sounds like you don't have to explain yourself capricorn all right now in a social dynamic here this is i'm still going to go along with both of those narratives for in one sense here i feel like if it's a new connection here i feel like it's someone that is very similar to you maybe not exactly like you're seeing you know, another capricorn or another strong earth sign but there is i do feel like there's this sense of where you really are able to bond with them because it's like you don't have to personally sacrifice to make the relationship work out all right so this is like maybe perhaps a new friendship in your life that it's a very just easy comfortable relationship in your life because you don't have to sacrifice to make it good it's just it just flows nice right and i think that's exactly what you need in your life right now capricorn are just relationships in your life again when i say relationships i talk about friendships romance. like you know we have so much more than just romance but i feel the need i need to talk like mention that you know in that way there right i feel like it just flows very naturally right and i think that's what you need is just low effort but 
high return relationships in your life, right? Now, if this is about the clean slate with that person I was talking about that you were having some misunderstandings with uh, Capricorn. I feel like you need to, it's really important for you to set the boundary of what it is that you're wanting. If you're wanting more communication from your person, it's okay. Say what it is that you need. All right. This is a time for you as that Queen of Pentacles, where you are un, where you are unapologetic. Just stumbling over my words. I'm just so nervous around you. Uh, uh, you are unapologetic, Capricorn, with what it is that you want. You're at peace with it as well. You know, when it comes to my friendships, I am very unapologetic about what it is I want out of my friendships. I want to be able to do my own thing without having any type of pressure and communicating with them all the time. All right. And when I, you know, I. Have have a list of things that like are my make or break because I don't want to have to personally sacrifice. Some people could call that greedy, but I just like what it is that I like. And I feel as if the reason why so many people have so many problems when it comes to their relationships is that they sacrifice so much of themselves or compromise so much of themselves to make a relationship work out because they suffer from people pleasing. And then eventually it catches up to them. The resentment builds up, you know, it eventually catches up right and then you have the problems all right and so capricorn hopefully this reaches the message that it needs the, the, reaches the people that it needs to reach all right now obviously when you're coming at it from an imbalanced place where you're just like you know with that queen of pentacles is like oh they need to just serve me rub my feet and do all of that as fabulous as that would be capricorn but i'm not going to give those disclaimers because obviously i feel like most people that follow like that watch my tarot readings come from a place of mature understanding of where it's just like I don't know. I feel like my the way that I give tarot readings is just from a very grounded place. And so um, I feel like y'all get it. So I don't need to over explain myself there. And for those that that don't get it, girl will clearly see them in the comments <laughs> section really uh, going off, honey, because they always do. Um, so anyways, let's continue on for your tarot reading here at Capricorn. Ten of Swords, all right? So I forget which other Earth sign. I think it was Taurus that got this as well. But I always say, Capricorn, I know a lot of people don't like the Ten of Swords and what it represents, but it's like, honey, you already have these Ten of Swords in your back. Me pulling this card is not, you know, some suddenly summoning 10 different traumas, 10 different pains in your life, right? This has been happening, honey. You have the scars to prove for it. Like, it's already been done. Tens in tarot represent closures to cycles here. So you are reaching this completion here, uh, Capricorn in your life and so I, you it gives me very much so a vibe of like what's different about your energy or like your perspective right now capricorn it's very much so you have come to the point to where you don't care about needing to people please anymore you don't care about needing to explain yourself anymore you have gotten to this point of where you are fed up with how you've had to handle certain things in your life certain relationships in your life even when it comes to your career and your financial situation i do get this sense here for you where it's just like you just are no longer interested in settling and so that's why for some of you capricorns you're getting pushed to this point of looking elsewhere to get to that full queen of pentacles because it's like if your current situation isn't able to give to you what it is that you need if your work isn't able to give the hours that you need if your work is not able to recruit the people that they need so that way you're not doing 20 different people's jobs but still only getting one paycheck all right if they're not able to do that you're at this point where it's just like you know what deuces i'm not even gonna fight with you anymore i'm done right you went through all these battles it just isn't worth it to you anymore capricorn and i just celebrate you for it. like i think that's the best mindset to be having you don't owe yourself to anybody truly and i'm gonna say it again capricorn you don't owe your being you don't own your energy owe your energy to anybody or anything else besides yourself all right because at the end of the day the only person that's going to be taking you through these 24 hours is you, all right? And so let's continue on here, Capricorn. We have the two of swords. Yeah, ultimately here, Capricorn, as you continue on with this energy, this doesn't surprise me here. This is the crossroads that's going to be manifesting in your life in whatever facet of where it's just like, in the coming days for you, some people will translate this as a sense of conflict or complications, but I really do see this as a, as your way, Capricorn, of being able to change things up, changing the story up. And so when it comes to those certain relationships in your life that have you feeling like this five of pentacles, not feeling good about yourself or just not giving you enough money, you're gonna, your spiritual team is about to be presenting different crossroads in your life where it's just like, are you happy with this? And it's fine if you are happy with this, you know, if you want to stay down this path, that's fine. But, you know, if you're not happy with this, we're about to be presenting like a, an escape route, an exit plan for you in whatever facet of your life and so just be keeping your eyes peeled for that and it could come in the sense of complications as an example capricorn 
how the two of swords ten of swords manifested in my life many years ago darling before i did this full time um i was a nurse you know and i loved my <laughs> loved is a big word but i enjoyed my job it paid my bills it got me what i needed to do consistent hours you know and then it was just like overnight, you know, in a span of a couple of weeks, a lot of inconveniences happened in my workplace. And I was just like, girl, I don't want to do this anymore. All right. And so then the opportunity presented itself for me to start a YouTube channel, do this, you know, and I'm here. All right. And so that's where I see things coming in. I could have seen like the complications at work, me not getting as many hours, people being fired and I'm having to adjust to new people and all of that. I could have seen this just as obstacles that I needed to overcome. But I, because I was always, I've always been very into with my spiritual team i'm like oh y'all are trying to let me you know making things uncomfortable for me because i clearly wasn't happy with fully happy with what it was i was doing i had to sacrifice to enjoy that job compromise my own things that i wanted out of life to make that job work and then you're my spiritual team is like you know what you know we're going to present this so be aware that just because they're going to be presenting that crossroads for you to go into a different path doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the easiest thing and yeah the strength card comes in as a sense of where you're staring the paper line in front of you and you have to have the courage to just go forward with something kind of like their sense of just with the fool card anyways just taking that leap of faith for a new opportunity as scary as it might initially seem or look right capricorn so i just want to make that very clear that that crossroads isn't going to be just filled with rainbows and sunshine it does come with its own uh initial risk that initial leap of faith that we started to tear tearing we tarot reading with capricorn so now let's get into your moon oracle reading here full moon in pisces forgiveness here all right so this kind of goes into the message of the social aspect or where it's like the clean slate with somebody that you do obviously care about now obviously don't be taking this as a sense of me trying to tell you capricorn that you need to forgive that narcissist family member that nar you know whatever that is girl obviously i'm not talking about that i'm talking about someone that you clearly do care about and if, that, if that's not for you then maybe that tar portion of the tarot reading isn't for you honey all right but there is a sense of like uh, practicing forgiveness for certain people in your life that you do actually want in the long term. Sure, they may have messed up, but does that mean that you want them out of your life forever? Maybe not. You just need to state very state very clearly what you expect out of the relationship and have those proper boundaries. And then when it comes to just your 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 everyday here, Capricorn, I feel like it's more so just relevant of forgiving yourself and being able to get back on that horse. Forgive yourself for falling off the horse and just don't be afraid of getting back on it. All right. So this is the tearing that I have for you, darling. Hopefully something in here resonated, uh, Capricorn, and I'll talk to you later, darling. Bye.